Hey, I hope everyone. Yeah, I said my last video was gonna be my last video about Syria, but I can't. So. I'm still waking up and going, what's going on in Syria? <laughs> on the phone to my friend. But yeah, it's basically over. Um, I just basically got a couple of maps to show you, like, that I think are quite striking to consider what it was like a couple of days ago. Um, it's all over. There's like one, one Turkish force at the moment. One. Like, so, essentially, that, the, like, there was like a little battle going on in the middle, yeah, and that's all that's left, right? This is it, this is the map now, yeah. Right, so you can see there's two blue things there, yeah. So this one, here, yeah, that's a farm that they've taken. A farm. What a conquest. What did you conquer today? I conquered a farm. So that's a farm. And that's the entirety of the Turks. <laughs> the other blue one there is about the fucking airstrike and other civilian convoys. A lot of fucking people dead. Man, so, whatever. It seems like the last act of the Turks is to commit another war crime. <laughs> They've been disgusting, man. The, the, the behaviour of the Turkish forces has been absolutely horrific. Executing people in the streets, executing politicians in the streets, rape, bombing civilians just everywhere. They, the, it, the, the tactic was to completely ethnically cleanse the Kurds. So they just attacked the civilians knowing that they'd fuck off and become refugees. And that's what happened. You know what I mean? Like, last reports were like 300,000 refugees, man. Whatever. All those lives, man. And that's what he did. He just targeted civilians to create this massive refugee crisis and just get the Kurds out. That's why he was doing this ethnic cleansing, man. These are war crimes. He's just... The amount of war crimes that they've committed is just shocking, shocking for a NATO country. Do you know what I mean? The defenders of the Western values, and this is how they behave, man. It's absolutely disgusting. It's broken my heart, of Syria, man. It, so much suffering going on. This is the sort of shit that I hate about politics. I hate this fucking clash of nations, clashes of countries and stuff. Countries are just fucking bad idea, man. It's a bad idea to split the world up into countries if you haven't got, like, an international thing. You know, like, if the UN was an actual powerful thing instead of just whatever, talking shop, then maybe you could get away with countries, but... When you when the final the biggest thing is a country, you end up with fucking wars. Do you know what I mean? And when you've got like nationalists like Trump and fucking Erdogan in power, do you know what I mean? Like Erdogan to him, right? The way, right? If you've been watching what, like, I suppose most people haven't been, like, but if you watch what's been said on Turkish television and stuff, this war, right, against the Kurds. Right, is being portrayed as if it was a religious war, right? They were saying that, like, everybody who dies in this war are martyrs and stuff. And, like, in every video of the Turks, all oh, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, it's like a religious thing for them. It was like, do you know, they, uh, many times the Turkish troops just resembled ISIS. He was like, tell me the difference between the two. The only thing is you're not beheading people, but you're fucking executing prisoners. You're executing fucking journalists. Do you know what I mean? And like, you just think, it's just ISIS, but better armed. Do you know what I mean? If ISIS had, 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 had an air force, they'd also be bombing ambulances like the Turks were. They'd also be bombing civilian convoys like the Turks do. If it was ISIS, do you know what I mean? I don't think ISIS has acted any differently from how, exactly how Turkey's acted in this. It's absolutely disgusting. This country needs dragging over the coals and bringing into the fucking head for this. This has been an absolutely disgusting, 
conduct of warfare. You, there's war, and then there's there's what you did, which is just horrific. It's absolutely horrific what the Turks have been doing. Southern cities are just like massive refugee camps. It's just so much misery and fucking. You know, and the thing is, like, the, the worst thing is, like, most of these people, or, well, not most, but a lot of these people who are living in the Kurdish areas is. These are people who were escaping ISIS, do you know what I mean? Right. It, the, the Kurds took in a ridiculous amount of refugees from Syria. And so they'd escaped all the, bull, the fucking horrific shit of ISIS, and then they have to deal with the horrific shit of, to the, Kurt, of the Turks as well. Do you know what I mean? These poor fucking bastards, man. Whatever, whatever. These people's lives, man. Can you imagine? I, I, I can't imagine. I, I, I'm sitting here in my privileged fucking... Benefits <laughs> house on the whole, but I I can't imagine what what that must be like. And like like when they started attacking fucking water treatment plants and cutting water off, it's a fucking desert, man. It's a desert, and you're cutting off water from people. Like, what is wrong with you? Why would you do that to somebody else? It's not, it's not. I don't know, man. It's just been fucking sickening. Been in floods of tears every fucking day, man. Every fucking god. Because this, like, this, this interactive map, man, is proper cool. But, like, I've said this before, but, like, things pop up as they're happening. So a battle happens and it pops up on the map. Or, I don't know, Turkey fucking executes somebody or whatever. It pops up on the map. But the most thing that popped up, the thing that popped up the most was civilian casualties. It was just this constant fucking stream of civilians being killed and civilians being attacked. And you're just like, who are you at war with here? You know what I mean? Like, who are you at war? I thought you were at war with the YPG. They're a military force. Why don't you fight them? And every time they did fight... This is the other thing about Turkey, right? Like... Do you know what I mean? Like, they, they, they talk about the honour of warfare and stuff and being a hero and, you know, this, this kind of macho bullshit idea of, like, carrying the gun into the war or whatever. You know, like, Turkey didn't do any of that. All Turkey did is use the fact that it had air supremacy to just completely and utterly obliterate everything. You should see the fucking devastation in these cities that they attacked, man. Like, whatever. There was hundreds of thousands of people living in these cities and now it's just a pile of rubble. Okay now man. It's just to just to just use their supremacy to just bomb everything and just leave this trail of destruction behind them. Um, it's pretty fucking horrific. It really was. And do you know what I mean? As close as you can get through a screen. I pretty, I proper felt like I was there. I proper was felt every battle, watched everything unfolding in front of me. It was quite an experience, to be honest. Um, but yeah, right. So, so it's all humiliation for Ed again. Isn't it? How is he going to spin this man? <laughs> Second largest. <laughs> army in NATO gets completely obliterated in three days. I've never seen a, I've never seen an army just completely <laughs> split into a million pieces. When it happened, when it kicked off in Manjip and the and the, the Russians and the and the Syrians stand up. And you just saw, like I'd been saying, their front line's too long, it, there's no way they can hold us. And it just came forward and then it just went, <laughs> it just exploded. And every bit's jumping all over us, it shattered into a million pieces. I've never seen that happen before. Usually you get like a bit that, like, depending on where you're being attacked, you might, you know, you, 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 your line might break and stuff, but you generally s stick together in clumps. This just shattered, it's just like everybody just ran away. It was absolutely crazy. I've never seen anything like it, man. 
But yeah, it's all over for Turkey, man. They, they keep trying to push this ceasefire thing for like, like this is the map now, right? This is the entirety of Syria right now. Yeah. As you can see, there's two blue dots. One's a farm and one's them bombing a civilian convoy. There are no Turkish forces anywhere in Syria. A couple of days ago, the entirety of this border here, all the way down there, was all just Turkish forces. 35 kilometers inside, that entire area was all blue. And now there's two dots. Three days, second largest army in this. <laughs> that, that, map was, that map is just a map of absolute humiliation for Erdogan. <laughs> You've literally got nothing. <laughs> you can tell absolutely nothing. And you want us to give you 35 kilometers inside. Come and get it. Come and take it. Come and take it. Oh, you haven't got an army anymore, have you? <laughs> you got beat by a load of Kurds, mate. Deal with it. Deal with it. <laughs> so, yeah. Victory to the Kurds. At the end of the day, the Kurds are the winners of that. They, 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 they stood up to fucking Turkey, man. Yeah, they had some allies with Russians. <laughs> it's alright, it's pretty good to have the Russians on your side, isn't it? You know what I mean? They are a fairly big military. Yeah. Syrians are pretty good, though. They've got like fucking some, they've got loads of tanks and stuff up Syrians. <laughs> and tanks are like rolling up into cities. It was just celebration time inside Kur in, Kur in the Kurdish areas now. It's just, just everywhere's having parties. It's just, Fireworks going off, people dancing around, flying the flag. Fucking SDF are just being welcomed as like liberators everywhere. Massive parties, massive celebrations, but like whatever massive reconstruction that's going to have to go on. Do you know what I mean? Where are all these people going to live? You've just destroyed all their cities. Where are they going to go? Why? So, I mean, you know, the war's over. What comes next is probably much more difficult to sort out, but I'm sure the Kurds will sort it out. They've got a good political system. <laughs> Anarchism will sort it out for them, I'm sure. They'll get together and they'll figure out what to do. Oh, I'm so fucking glad that it survived. At the beginning, I was, I was heartbroken when I thought the revolution was over. Oh, I was just going to get stomped out by Turkey. It's funny how things change, isn't it? <laughs> and the Russians and Syrians turn up. Funny, man. It was weird, because it, it was all Turkey. It was all, Tur it was all going Turkey's way at the beginning. Everything, they just achieved everything they wanted to do. They took 35 kilometres minimal resistance from a few Kurds with some machine guns. And they just, they just swept forward. It seemed like this unstoppable force that's just taking everything in in its bath and then it quickly changed it all changed their air force fucked off <laughs> their air force man whatever they were their main thing that they were doing that's just 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 airstrikes against everything anything that moved it fucking called in airstrikes against it and then and then when the russians turned up and russian fighting yet started flying around the turks were like let's get the fuck out of here <laughs> they just and then when they started using drones, whatever, man, whatever. Fuck it, we started strapping bombs onto drones. You're like, you've got a modern air force and this is what you're up to. <laughs> you, you just are ISIS, that's all you are is ISIS. That was fun. There was loads of funny things that happened. Fucking Americans getting bombed by Turkey. <laughs> Turkey like twice. And so the, the fucking Americans send out some F-15 fighter jets to fucking warn off Turkey. It's two NATO countries threatening one another and bombing one another. Whatever. <laughs> NATO just looks comical. You're just like, I thought you were like this massive military force and you just look like children. 
you look like children when fucking Turkey took up a 500 mile front line. I was like, oh, oh, is it, they've got children. It's like the 12 year olds running this. That's not how you conduct warfare, man. And then as soon as it got hit, it just shattered into a million pieces. I'm like, I told you this three days ago not to do that, but whatever. Have smaller front lines. That was a fucking 500 mile front line. Children, children, they didn't have a clue what they were doing. Tactically inept, the fucking Turks were massively tactically inept. There was quite a few times, well, I don't know, I don't know, there's probably about five times, let's say, when the Turks came up against the Kurds in like a proper battle, where they just had a fight. <laughs> One time, <laughs> I remember watching this live. One time, right, this massive battalion, this Turkish battalion, that was going around terrorizing all these fucking villages and stuff, right, yeah, and so it decides to go through a valley, right, and they get tactically inept, right, you don't go into a valley in in a war, that's the absolute worst place you could be, you know what I mean, if your opponents take up positions on the hills, you're just going to get battered, right, so they walk into a valley like you do, and that's exactly what happened. The Kurds just surrounded them on the hills and just completely killed everybody who was there and then just stole all their weapons and everything. That was really, really, really early on. It was like day one or something. There's a first, it was the first clash of the Kurds and the Turks. And the Turks just inept. You don't go into a valley. You don't go into a valley. So another thing, Americans were also left in a valley. Like when they were getting, like when it was going off in Kobani, yeah, and the Americans were getting bombed by the Turks. They were in a valley. And then the, then the Islamic State turned up. That was well funny. The Americans are sat there just going like, look, we just want to leave. We just want to go home, yeah. And they're sat in this valley with nothing. All their equipment's been taken away. There's just these people, there's like about three Jeeps. They have like three Jeeps with machine guns on it. And nothing else really. They had, they had their, their own weapons and stuff, but they, they were nothing. Do you know what I mean? It's just like this, it's just some souls just sat in the desert waiting to go home. So then Islamic State turn up and start fighting them, and they're like, oh, boy, <laughs> we just want to go home. We don't want to fight anybody. <laughs> so they had to fight ISIS, and they beat ISIS as well. They beat them back. They did all right. They did Americans to the fit. Well, they are Americans. So, yeah. So then they fought, hang on a minute. Sitting in a valley is not a good idea, so I decided to leave this valley and go get on a bridge, which is a much better idea. And so Russians were like, get off the bridge, we need to cross over. And the Americans like, just left. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny. The Americans getting bombed by Turks, though, that was... And then, then when they just start threatening one another, <laughs> it was just hilarious. <laughs> And fucking Edegan asking NATO for help, that was just hilarious, man. It was just, why? As if, as if, like, it's like he wasn't even keeping up to date with anything that was going on. Like, right at the end, when the, when the Turkish forces were just a little bit in the middle, and that's all they had left, Edegan's still declaring that he's going to free Syria from Manjit to Iraq. And you're like, are you not even watching what's happening? How can you make, how can you make statements like that? give him the state of affairs and he's just completely delusional it, absolutely delusional and this ceasefire is delusional <laughs> i've just shown you the map why should we give up 35 kilometers now you haven't even got any forces in syria you haven't even got an army anymore your entire army just got battered outside Kobani, man you haven't even got an army so just, just whatever, deal with reality, not this fantasy that's going on in your head, right? To him, he thinks he's just created the Ottoman Empire or something, when in actual fact, he's just being kicked shit out of. It's the biggest capitulation of any army I've ever seen in three days, man, three days, whatever. The Kurds could last longer than three days. You know, I mean, the Kurds did last longer than three days. Eh, but not the Turkish army. Not NATO's second largest army. Fuck me, man. It's a good job Edgar ain't got an election for another couple of years, is it? <laughs> Can you imagine going into an election as the biggest fucking loser of any military battle ever? <laughs> Uh, and then if he gets dragged to Hague, I, bet, I, I don't know. But to be fair, I don't know. Right, whatever happens about war crimes, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Oh, 
seen loads of wars, like Americans committed loads of war crimes, nothing seems to happen to them. What will happen? I don't know. Like, they didn't real. This is the thing. They didn't like an international government or an international court. Well, there is an international court, but like, it's voluntary. Whatever. <laughs> There's no way of like policing countries. Countries can just come up with one railway. Really. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's no way any guy's gonna get dragged to egg, is it? When, how's that gonna happen? Yeah, like, how literally? How is that gonna happen? Are you gonna send in some special forces to get him out or something? You know? <laughs> That's not gonna happen. <laughs> So nothing will happen. Political leaders just do what they want now. So I need to get rid of the fuckers. Start learning from the fucking city and kids about how to organise things. Um yeah. Yeah, so I suppose this is me signing off from Syria. It's been a blast. <laughs> oh dear, I'm just glad the revolutions safe it's, it's all that I really care about it, and that's all that's why I started doing this stuff in the first place so that's still that's still going that's all that's all that matters so yeah it's me signing out bye